everybody, Bruce Bishop from the Chronicle Telegram. It looks like the jam that was in the area just south of Route 6 may have broken loose here. Once this area gets through here, if it makes its way down the bend here, it's a straight shot out to the lake. The water was moving along pretty well underneath the surface, and uh, just in the last couple of minutes, this broke loose. Giant slabs of ice coming through now. Some of these things uh, look like they're only a couple inches thick, others look like they're about five or six inches. And this is what the fire department just told us a few minutes ago that they were hoping would happen that this the last ice breakdown at the curve would, would come through. And once that happens, it should be smooth sailing. couple minutes where we should tell the tale whether or not uh, flooding continues along the Vermilion River. There was some minor flooding upstream. Those places were all up on stilts, so aside from garages, it really wasn't doing any uh, major damage. The ice flows definitely are getting a little bigger now. Definitely, that's uh, probably the 10 inch piece of ice, maybe a foot tip. So this is definitely the most important part of this flow right now. This is the thickest ice. This is the stuff that could stop it all down when you get to the corner here. Vermilion River, right by the bridge. Hey everybody, Bruce Bishop from the Chronicle, just kind of following up on the flooding and uh, ice jam from this morning. We have crews out here from, uh, I believe this is from Lorain County Metro Parks, cleaning up the roadway outside of the Vermilion River Reservation at Mill Hollow. It's like no, uh, no damage to the building, it, nothing really reached up that far. It's like there is some, some damage to some fencing that they had up here. There's a picnic table over there that has some uh, big ice slabs on it, but that doesn't look too terrible. And come back down over here. So everything came up over the roadway. They've been working on clearing it out. The roadway has taken damage in the past, but it doesn't look like there was any major problem with it today. Kind of showing you just how heavy that ice is. I hear things tipping forward as I try to clear it out of there. The 
to come down over here. It's a little slippery, so I'm going to walk slowly here. So you can see the river is out of its banks, but only in the very lowest areas, so it's not, not very bad at all. A bunch of loose gravel and stuff. It doesn't look like the, the roadway is undercut or anything, so that's probably just a matter of just cleaning that up. So all in all, it doesn't look uh, doesn't look like a bad situation here for the Metro Parks. All right, everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. If anything else happens, we will be back. You can see this is moving very fast. The fire department's down here at the scene taking a look at things. A lot of trees in the water now. You see a lot, a lot more ice. The trees mixed in with the ice water. Here, I'm gonna bring it down right here so you can appreciate the speed. Look at the speed of this water. This is why this stuff is so dangerous and so fast. back around here. It's fun looking down the river but I can usually kind of keep facing this way a little bit and then they come up behind me here. And the fire department is monitoring from the bridge. There is already a flash flood warning out for the Vermilion River right now because of this dam. good distance maybe almost a quarter mile down and it's still not uh, not cleared yet good thing so far I haven't seen any kind of personal items of any nature some golf balls earlier but um, in fact, there goes another golf ball now. Ground under the ice there. But uh, a lot of times we'll see household items from upriver. 
of a large tree that was probably laying along the edge of the water. It was a dead tree. Idea of the size of this. These ice flows here. It gives you some idea of what you're looking at. Firepart was telling me that the uh, mouth of the river is clear and the water just outside of the port of Vermillion is clear. So as long as this stuff makes its way through here, the river should be flowing nicely and things will be in good shape. But now it's just a matter of getting it through the rest of the way. Starting to get some ice shoving up here onto the pier at the uh, Quaker Stake location just off the Route 6 bridge. There goes the other bench, so yeah, somebody lost their. Uh... getting towards the end of this or not. Now saying looks like eight inch chunks. You're right, that's right about the size. So some of them look to be about a foot, but that one, that's about a foot thick. That's strong ice right there. Another big ice flow right there. Probably 12 feet across. A lot of wood and debris in this stuff here, so I'm not sure exactly what that means as far as where this came from or how much further along the flow has to go. Let's make the waters come up just a little bit, but not very much. Yeah, it's getting a little, a little closer to the lip over here for sure. Got a huge ice flow there. Big trees. getting close to the end of this now. The uh, ice chunks are smaller. The surface of the ice is definitely different.
These are all much smaller chunks right now. Yeah, the water's coming up a little more over this direction. I think this mass has so much speed behind it that there's a good chance this is going to shoot right out into the lake. And I would love to be up there right now, to be honest with you, because it's probably really impressive seeing all this heading out into the clear water. The uh, water out along the edge of Vermilion is all clear right now. There's a huge tree coming downstream right now. Look at the size of this thing here. Well, that's what the boaters are going to be dealing with come spring. No sign down river of this stopping. Definitely still thick chunks of ice coming down now. I can only imagine the situation if this were to jam at the mouth though, with the speed of this ice and water moving through there. A couple of huge ice flows coming again here. Those are kind of things that can cause problems right there. Those are so big it can jam things up really quickly. There's another one right behind it. out here watching, not too many. Definitely looks like the water is moving faster down at the uh, bend here. Yep, looks like somebody lost some stuff in their garage here. I think we see clear water down at the bend here. It looks like this is going to make its way out into the lake without any major incident here in, Lor in uh, Vermilion today. Doesn't look like the ice has slowed down at all, so that's huge. And look at this, just from the last few minutes now, you can see this. Look at the difference already. 
the ice is just lapping along the very edge of this and already it looks like it's down about maybe five inches or so. And that's in two minutes. So you can see how quickly things will change out here. So I'm assuming the, the major mass of this ice has cleared its way out into the lake. There goes a tire. How much tread on it, they won't miss that anyway. Hey, we aren't there yet, but things are definitely looking good for Vermilion right now. The water is still dropping. That's amazing how fast that water dropped. So the next step in everything is, uh, and it's a good thing this cleared also because now the water would get cold again starting with uh, the temperature drop coming through. There goes another golf ball. Must be a golf course upriver there. I've probably seen 200 golf balls come down here so far. Take all the yellow range balls. Another big ice flow right there, big chunk. I saw a goose making his way across the river down there. So that's a good sign. Again, still dropping. We're starting a nice clear patches of water. All right, everybody. It looks like we are on the right side of all this. So I'm going to wrap things up because I need to get back to downtown Lorraine for President Biden's visit this afternoon. We'll be having plenty of stuff on Twitter and our Facebook page at The Chronicle. We'll be following up on this story in the paper tomorrow too, so if you want to check it out. It looks like we're just about done here. Okay, again, I'm going to wrap this up now. Just keep in mind, this it's not done until it's all clear. There's a flash flood warning in place for Lorraine County along the Vermilion River. So uh, just pay attention for the next little bit, and hopefully this will clear and they will drop the flash flood warning. But it looks like everything is moving on really nicely. Okay, everybody, stay safe out there, and uh, lots of harsh weather coming yet. We have big temperature drops, freezing rain. They're looking at up to two inches of rain for this area. So keep that in mind. Things are definitely not over with for the day. Appreciate you all watching. Have a good one.